So we've all heard of Kali Linux as well as Parrot OS. Well, I wanted to show you guys another penetration testing Linux distribution that's out there for use. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys another penetration testing Linux distribution that's out there, which is similar to Kali Linux as well as Parrot OS. And this distro is super interesting, super cool, you know, based on my knowledge and doing the research on it. It's an interesting distribution um, that follows along those same lines, you know, as far as uh, forensics analysis as well as penetration testing and it's always great to see other options out there for people this distribution uses a modified version of xfce as well as it's based on debian and ubuntu uh similar to kali linux uh kali linux is based on debian but backbox is you know based on ubuntu and that's the thing i didn't let you guys know the name of it but it's called backbox it's interesting let's go down and hop over to the website so i can show you guys what it's all about before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq the official partner of rocky linux rocky linux is a linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the red hat enterprise linux operating system source code the project is led by gregory kurtzer who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm at backbox.org. That's the link. And I'll, of course, I always have the link down in the description of the video. So you guys can go right here, but it's backbox.org. And as you can see, it says a free open source community project. Um, and so let's go down a little bit and read a little bit what it says right here. But what is it? Backbox is more than an operating system. It is a free and open source uh, community project with the aim to promoting the culture of security in IT environments or in IT environments and give its contribution to make it better and safer. All this using exclusively free and open source software, which is, you know, awesome. That's always good to see that it's using like free and open source software only. But it also says demonstrating the potential and power of the community. Now, it says if you'd uh, like to know more, feel free to navigate in our website and get in touch with us. And then these links right here will take you up here and I'll just go through, but Backbox Linux, Backbox Community, as well as the services. So they put that on the main site. But if we go up here to Linux, this will take you to the distro page where you can see information about the distribution. And like I said, it's based on uh, XFCE or they use the XFCE uh, desktop environment. And you guys know that's my favorite desktop environment. So I'm excited to see that, you know what I'm saying? XFCE being used because it's, you know, a lightweight uh, desktop environment at the end of the day. Now it says Backbox Linux is a penetration testing and security assessments oriented Linux distribution providing a network and system analysis toolkit. It includes some of the most commonly known used security and analyst uh, tools or analysis tools uh, aiming for a widespread of goals ranging from web application uh, analysis to network analysis, stress tests, sniffing, vulnerability assessment, uh, computer forensics analysts, or analysis and automation and exploitation. It has been built on Ubuntu core system, yet fully customized. And that's one cool thing about it. They customize it and they maintain it, you know, all themselves. It's all in-house, uh, which is super cool. It says designed to be one of the best penetration testing and security distros or distributions and more. So it's an awesome distro, bro, based on, you know, everything I've been seeing with it. It's, it's super cool. All the research I've done on it is it's dope. Now, also, one cool thing about it, because a lot of people talk about the cloud. They have uh, their distro in AWS, so Amazon Web Services uh, Cloud Platform. It says uh, Backbox uh, Linux is now available on Amazon Web Services Cloud Platform. Just within a few clicks, you can now have access to Backbox official AMI. So that's awesome. 
you know to actually see now if we go to the next tab uh documentation the one cool thing about this distro just like pretty much all of them they all have uh good documentation but they have a wiki that has great information on it uh it goes through the installation you know getting started how to download it you know if you need to create in the bootable device um whether you're using a usb or if you actually have a cd you know drive you could put it on a cd well a dvd because it's kind of big and i'll show you guys that in a little bit but uh customizing goes to customization as well as community support so they do have a blog form you know irc channel as well as you know back to the wiki uh but it's awesome to see you know documentation now let's go to downloads let me show you guys how to download it uh so essentially this is how you download this is download page and i'll just walk you guys through a little bit of it but uh backbox linux 8 amd 64 that's the current release which was released on 2022 uh november 15th and this is the file name so um that right there and this is the size it's 3.9 gigabytes so it's pretty big and that's the same across the board when it comes to a lot of these uh cyber uh distributions that are out there they they're pretty big so you can use all the tools from the live iso so you don't have to install it you can just use it directly from the live iso so, um you know how you can click on you know try um distro or try you know ubuntu or try whatever uh same thing you can try backbox and pull up the system and use it using a live you know system right there with all the tools included that's why it's super super huge now they do have the md5 hash as well as the sha256 so you can verify that you're getting it from the correct source now down here they have a couple of options so you can download the torrent file you can download the iso or you can and then they also have mirrors down here as well um so they have like four different mirrors you can select from and then also right here is the donation section because they want you to try to donate and these guys you know are putting in a lot of work you know maintaining this distribution so you kind of want to support the project especially if you believe in what they're doing which i believe in what they're doing so i recommend you guys you know donate if you can you know to the system but it's optional you don't you don't have to do it you don't have to donate in order to download the iso uh all you have to do is change uh here where it says five because it's set they put it on five dollars but you can put it at zero hit download and it'll download the iso for you you know for free but if you want to donate boom you can put whatever you want in there and then it'll redirect you to paypal so you can make a donation to the project which is always a good thing you know what i'm saying and if we go back to the main page they do have like a site map so you can navigate the site a little better uh as well as contact them from, so you can contact them you know what i'm saying uh they have all their social media links as well as email addresses and all that stuff you know there for you you can also search so definitely uh check out their site great resource uh if you're gonna use this distribution now let's go down and hop over to my virtual environment so i can get this thing installed show you guys what it's all about and we can play around with it a little bit so i'll be back in a sec all right cool so i just wanted to show you guys the grub menu that'll pop up once you got your you know iso either written written to a device usb or a dvd or something to that effect uh, so this is what will pop up now it's basically a try and install back box as well as a safe graphics you know back box as well as the test memory utility that's included in most you know linux isos live isos that are available for you to install now let's go back up to try and install uh back box because that's what we want to do so let's go down and press enter and the installer is super simple so if you've installed ubuntu it's pretty much the same uh i'll be back when it comes up but you'll notice that it's super familiar all right and i apologize for the right hand side because i can't adjust the resolution until i actually get into the desktop environment but as you can see very familiar this is ubuntu essentially the ubuntu installer uh so select your language and they do have two options so you could try back blocks or back box and they'll open up the uh live iso so you play around with the operating system without installing but like we always do on this channel is install the 
operating system on the hardware so we can see you know if we run into any issues or the process of installing it but like i said this is very familiar so we're going to hit install back box select your language install back box um, and then keyboard layout hit continue uh, now right here you do have a couple of options and this is just like in ubuntu uh, they have a normal installation as well as a minimal minimal installation and then they have other options now uh, let's talk about these other options first but download updates while installing back box that's checked by default and you want to do that you know that kind of saves you time it'll go through and connect to the internet connect to the repositories download and install any updates to any of the software that's included within the iso that it's going to install when it comes to the normal installation uh now normal installation includes like a web browser utilities office software games uh and media players and that's super cool that's what I recommend people use now the minimum in, minimal installation this is if you don't want all that extra fluff on there or bloat or software that they decide that they want to put on a system as far as office software games you can install what you want versus them selecting it for you and that's what's included in our minimal installation which only comes with a web browser and just some basic utilities uh, similar to up here now the other options i want to talk about this last one but you can install your third party software which i'm going to select that checkbox uh, but it does include some proprietary software just so you know but this is mainly for graphics wi-fi hardware and additional media formats and all that good stuff so let's go on here continue there and then it's going to ask you how to set up your drives so this is basic basically installing the system uh and where you want to put it uh, which is the drives and like I said, it's just like Ubuntu same, you know installer essentially uh, You can erase the disk install back box and that'll you know They'll basically configure your drive and set it up how you want to now Just be careful with that if you have a system that you're installing this to and let's say I don't know you set aside a partition Just to install this operating system on it and you're dual booting or something to that effect You don't want to do this because it's going to take control over the whole disk and wipe whatever is on there so if you have a windows installation it's gonna wipe it you know what i'm saying so just be careful with that now under the advanced features just like any want to uh, use lvm you know for the new installation as well as or you can erase the disk and use zfs if you want to use zfs so the z file system and then you can encrypt your installation as well so see it can cancel there because uh, we're not going to do any of the advanced features but you can also manually partition your drives so like i said this is where you want to go if you want to dual boot or if you want to specify a different hard drive you know what i'm saying on the system that's not like your default drive or your main drive uh then you want to you know do something else and then you can set up everything you know manually now all we have to do is hit install now that'll start installing the operating system and we can set up the rest of the you know settings for the operating system like our user accounts as well as location uh that's probably what's going to pop up next uh location most likely yep and it automatically recognized that i'm on the west coast so pulled up los angeles hit continue then we can create our account boom so i'm put josh and i'm put back box as the you know um computer name and it looks like we cannot use that so let's go back box os boom boom and then go down and put our password in good to go so use something super simple boom and then you got two options down here you can log in automatically which i never recommend people do uh because if somebody steals your laptop they can go right into your system uh so always require you know the password on login so let's hit continue there and it'll go through the install and doesn't take long you know what i'm saying so i'll be back when it completes and then i'll you know fix the resolution as well and all that stuff and show you guys what the operating system looks like and all that good stuff so be back in a sec all right so i believe it comp completed this is one weird thing i started seeing uh on this distribution um but basically this is saying that it's complete you just hit the button for restart now i'm not sure why it's not showing correctly but it was one other thing i saw uh like you'll see it shut down it'll go down now it'll sit here at this point 
So if you install this, just note that it may do this, uh, but it will sit here. And essentially what it's waiting on is for you to press enter uh, after you remove the live ISO or something to that effect. You know how it says, please remove installation media uh, and then press enter in order to reboot the system. So it won't complete the reboot until you press enter. So just wanted to make you guys aware of that. All right, cool. So we logged into it and I fixed the uh, resolution of the desktop environment uh, just so you guys can see it a little better. Uh, even though I block a little bit over here because of my face, you know what I'm saying? We should be able to see it a little bit better and it looks cleaner on the screen. But as you can see, it's a basic uh, XFCE desktop environment. It looks, you know, super clean, super easy to use. Uh, let's check out and see what um, backgrounds we got on here. So I like their, you know, uh, black box or back box uh, um, wallpapers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're simple, you know, clean. That's all you really need. Unless you want to get some more, you know, stuff on there. Uh, this, I'll just roll with that though. But um let's go up in here and look at the software that it comes with uh now it has genie right off the back that's under favorites they put a couple things under uh favorites so you got genie uh which is an ide and then edercap uh not sure what this software does oh that's a network sniffer oh yeah i heard of it network sniffer sniffer analyzer interceptor logger um and then metasploit is right here on the favorites and they they basically put together these favorites you know what i'm saying and then zap as well which is a tech proxy um now if you look like look under here it's just like on cali linux you got your different categories so you got your auditing tools as you can see it's broken out a whole lot more once you go in here so information gathering uh, you got networking so that's all your scans right there orp scans ike scans uh in map you know what i'm saying uh your web scams so uh di or search which i've heard of that one dns uh twitch or twist whatever it's called um wet web you know a lot of cool little tools that you know you'll see anywhere else you know like on cali or parrot os uh vulnerability assessments uh so you can check out websites you know all that good stuff and of course you can install whatever you need on here you know what i'm saying exploitation so database sq map uh networking so that's uh, uh metasploit again uh let's see what else Pri privilege escalation sniffing password spoofing you know maintaining access or so tunneling back doors all that stuff uh reverse engineering social engineering honeypots uh yeah it's pretty much any and everything you need to in order to do this stuff you know what i'm saying uh stress testing so uh dos or dos um automotive analysts uh so yeah they got hacks for a lot of these different you know new cars that are out there forensics analysis tools so you got all that data recovery uh disk analysis file analysis um forensic suite uh let's see what else we got in here uh autopsy yeah i've looked at that before uh disk analysis x mount let's see data recovery so basically got all your you know tools that you can use from you know the command line uh malware analysis if you want to you know mobile analysis voip analysis wireless analysis analysis now of course you can install your other tools on here if you need them but you, you pretty much got a base or a good starting point uh like this aircrack ng you know what i'm saying that's good to see bully uh, Pixie WPS, that's that WPS tool, Brute Forcer tool, uh, Reaver. Uh, I've kind of played around with a few of these things on my own personal network, just playing around, uh, set up a router or something and just played around with it uh, using, you know, a laptop or something that I have to play around with this type of stuff. But yeah, um, awesome. It has all these tools, you know, that you need, uh, even a little bit under miscellaneous. So, and most people, you know, when they install these distributions, they install a bunch of, you know, um, tools or utilities that are in GitHub anyway. Uh, so they put pretty much the basics of what you need uh, in order to, you know, analyze a network or, you know, do some type of cybersecurity 
and forensics and pen, pen testing uh, work, you know, using the distro. Now, one other spot I want to show you guys was under anonymous. So they do have this anonymous uh, tool installed, installed. Uh, it's a utility it, and it sends all your traffic through Tor. Uh, so you got your anonymous start, anonymous status, and anonymous stop. And I don't want to show you guys that because it's going to show my uh, outside IP address on there if you, you know, run those systems, which I don't I don't mind, but I'm, I'd rather not show it to you guys, uh, my outside IP address. But yeah, it'll show that when I click in there, so I won't click in there. But just to go through a couple of tools on here, they got your services. That's some services that are running uh, SSH or you can run Tor. Uh, which that's used on using this anonymous store is the tour um, tool that runs in the background or utility that runs in the background that'll route all your networking through tour uh, so that's you know good to have now accessories you got all your basic you know file applications that you need or uh, tools that you would need to run a, a basic system you know Linux system it doesn't really matter uh, catfish is the file search uh, one thing I saw, uh, they got this IP address calculator, which is super cool. I think I talk about this in another video, uh, showing you guys that you can get a lot of information from these calculators. Uh, this is a good one right here. Uh, let's see what version it is. So, uh, GIP, you know, uh, Internet Protocol Calculator. So, it's good, 1.7.0.1. Uh, but let's go ahead and close that that's cool to see under accessories uh we also got calculators you know all your basic tools vim is installed by default let's see under development so genie g hex uh meld uh let's see the browser uh so firefox comes with firefox it comes it has file zilla one cool thing though is wireshark you didn't see it under here or maybe i didn't click on it far enough to see it but yeah it's wireshark is on here as well by default so if you need that to analyze traffic you know all that's that's there transmission thunderbird um uh remini yeah and i wanted to do a video on this this allows you to connect to a remote desktop so uh, Pigeon, that's cool. Multimedia, so it has a parole media player, a simple screen recorder, which you know is always beneficial to have. I don't know if you guys ever seen that or used that before. I think I did a video on it years ago. I used to actually record all my videos using simple screen recorder, uh, so people could see my desktop environment while I was, uh, you know, going through a tutorial or something to that effect. Now we also have VLC, so awesome to see in XF burn so we can burn CDs if we need to under office we got LibreOffice so that's cool uh, and then under your settings this is basically just making all your changes to your system uh, it uses a light DM GTK greeter which is typically used by XFCE uh, advanced networking configuration additional drivers about me you could change up you know all your settings or you can go here under uh, the settings manager they'll bring up all that all those options that were under the tool it's all in one location right here you can update the system you know software and updates uh, default applications you could change that um, now typically what I do since it's uh, you know Ubuntu base I'll just open up the terminal and run sudo apps updates as well as uh, upgrade so we can you know update the system and I'm sure it has some updates I thought I saw it pop up earlier when I was fixing the um, the resolution of the screen you know what I'm saying I, I'm sure they have some updates out there but yeah you can run it this way or you can run it under here and also one thing I want to show you guys let's see if you want to get some new software on here from their repository you can just go back under here under settings I believe or system uh, yeah, and there we go synaptic package manager so you can open that up And it may not run right because I'm uh, I'm doing some updates currently it, it still should open up though shouldn't have no problem. Yeah, it's locked. That's right So app getting the aptitude is already running because I'm running it here But you can go in there and install whatever applications, you know on the system you can search find what? <clears throat> You can search and find whatever applications you want to, you know, install on the system based on what they have within their repositories. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely check out Backbox. And like I said, I have the link 
or I'll have the link down in the description of the video so you guys can check out uh, this distribution, kind of play around with it. It's not that difficult to use, you know, once you get into it. XFCE is very simple to use, you know, and the installation is super simple. So uh, that's beneficial for people that are just getting into cybersecurity. They want an easy to install and use distribution or another option you know that uses the xfce desktop environment other than cali and parrot os uh you could definitely check out backbox you know what i'm saying as a solid distro uh when you're getting into like penetration testing or cyber security uh types of positions this is something that you can use but i hope you guys enjoy the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts on this distribution and also you can leave some recommendations of some other linux distributions that you may want me to check out i i, I definitely love hearing from you guys and having a conversation in the chat so hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techy